of Indian traditional homes part 1 in india we can still see different kinds of traditional houses existing made purely in natural materials we are introducing you to the selected seven houses in this part 1 video of this series number 7 200 year mud home tumkur karnataka A 200-year-old house in the district of Tumkur, Karnataka, imparts lessons of ancestral knowledge and reminds us of indigenous old practices. The foundation of this house is made out of local stones with mud lime mortar. Lying in a hot, dry region, the thick adobe brick wall made out of sun-dried bricks. keeps the interior cool during day and warm during night the post and beam structure uses the locally available neem and teak woods and the flat mud terrace roofing with its earthen pot skylight that dramatically lights the space are also some of the common old practices in this area which are now forgotten Number 6 Stone homes in Gandikota Andhra Pradesh In Gandikota Andhra Pradesh one can see a massive 13th century fort built entirely of locally procured sandstone In it lies a group of flat roof or double storied houses dating 200 years back and built entirely out of locally abundant stone mud and lime a deep study of these structures introduces us to an interesting traditional type of stone mud flat roofing showing us a way to move out of the toxic conventional methods number 5 earth home lakundi karnataka designed with sensibility towards the climatic conditions of the area here are some of the real green buildings in true sense in the temple town of lakundi in karnataka the 200 year old tiny white houses along the lanes uses a variety of locally available natural building materials located in a hot dry tropical region the thick lime plastered walls smaller openings vent set higher level in the walls the earthen pot skylights and the water tight lime plastered flat mud roof are some of the well thought climate responsive features that were once in practice number 4 brick and lime plastered mana manarkat kerala the kavi padinjere dathu mana in kerala was again reconstructed over the existing foundation of black stones this time three stories high and with modern wide proportions the one and half feet thick brick walls were finished with colored lime plaster the structure was constructed using the local woods like jackfruit coconut and rosewood contrary to the current belief of a need for rcc slab in high rise buildings The most interesting feature of this house is the usage of flat earthen floors. Also, as a layer of vapor barrier, the local bamboo reed known as eta leaves have been used in the floor. Since farming was the major occupation then, this space was used to dry rice grains. This earthen floor worked by removing the moisture from the rice. and then breathing out the acquired moisture thereby both the structure and the grains were retained healthy number 3 wattle and cop home 300 years ganjam mysore the village of ganjam in mysore exhibits a traditional typology of the building and village planning more specific to the community that belonged there the building materials labors and process of construction were all purely local benefiting the local economy 
Among the rows of old houses, one such still existing, well-maintained houses shows in it the thick wattle and cob wall that tapers, enabling efficient load transfer. These walls are also externally faced with stones for protection against the weather. The wood post and beam system out of locally available wood and the country tiled roof were also some of the commonly seen features in this area. Number 2 300 year mud home Vayanad Kerala A double roof with a bamboo mud attic space is the first thing that would capture one's eyes inside this house. Since the people who live there are involved in farming, this attic space is used as dry storeroom. A long central running beam of around 10 meters and two other beams on the cob wall supports a split bamboo mat on top. Over it, a layer of mud is laid forming the attic and the main roof frame is made out of local wood and bamboo and covered by bunches of thatch that is replaced every two years. This cob and thatch house in Vayanad, Kerala is one another proof to the longevity of mud and is standing tough for over 300 years. Number 1 150 year adobe home Cheruvayal, Kerala Touching and blending with the earth, there stood another mud house that is 150 years old, belonging to a traditional paddy farmer. This house is built entirely out of locally sourced materials like side soil, bamboo, areca nut and palm tree wood. Belonging to the same region, the double roof and the bamboo mud attic space is again a notable feature here, similar to the previous home. The rice straw from his own farm is used as the thatch for the roof and replace every two years, thus creating a harmony in the entire process of living, building and farming. Through this video, we understood how long-lasting the mud homes can be than the modern concrete homes. It's time for us to get reminded that building with earth is a time-tested strategy. It just takes time and patience for us to gain all the traditional knowledge which was once in use. This knowledge when gained can give back the natural building its real strength and beauty. If you have lived in a traditional mud home, your grandparents home or have seen any traditional homes, you can send photos to our WhatsApp number displayed on screen. This will let the world know about different traditional mud homes which are beautiful as any modern home. Also comment and let us know which home you like the most among these 7 homes.